Look, at some point when you are doing real life projects in Python, you need to generate random numbers for some specific work. There are quite a few ways to do this and here we will discuss four different ways of generating random numbers depending upon various use cases that you may come across. For generating random numbers, Python has an inbuilt module called uh, random. So right at the onset, we are importing it. As first use case, let's say you want to print a single random value, which is a float between zero and one. Uh, for that, we use uh, the random method. Let's run this. And as you can see, we get a float between zero and one uh, using this method random. Moving on to the second use case, let's say you want to print a float between a specific range, let's say one and 100. For that, we use the uniform method. Let me run this. And as you can see, we are getting a float value, but this time between one and 100. As third use case, let's say you want to print a random integer this time, again in a specific range. For that, we use uh, the method randint. Let me run this. And as you can see, we are getting uh, a random integer this time between the specified range. If I run it again, again, we are going to get a different random integer. Moving on, let's say our use case is to uh, generate a random number in a range with incremental steps. For that, we use the rand range method. It has start, which is this, a stop, which is this, and the step. We can use this to print random uh, even or odd numbers in a given range. For example, let's say we want to print even numbers uh, between zero and 100. In that case, I'll uh, define my step to be equal to two. And every time I generate a random number with this uh, line of code, I'll always get an even number. All right, moving on to the last use case, all of these uh, codes that we have discussed uh, till now give a single random number every time we call them. Now to print a series of numbers randomly, uh, we use the sample method. For using the sample method, we first of all define a range, again, let's say between zero and 100, and the number of random numbers that we want to generate. If I run this one, we'll get three random numbers generated. So that is all about random numbers. Next time when you are asked about how to print random numbers, I hope you can answer that question.